Hi everybody, it's One Cool Blurred, aka the Real Life Dwayne Wayne. It's been a little while. I'm back with a brand new um, Ask One Cool Blurred series, and we're going to be going through a lot of the questions that I've been gathering, um, probably over the last couple of months, talking to a lot of different people about questions regarding grad school, uh, transitioning from undergrad to grad school, going from grad school to a job environment or to entrepreneurship. And so we're just going to kind of talk a little bit about those things. And, um, and and in this series, so if you have any questions, comment below, send me an email, tweet me, um, one cool blurt on everything, uh, one cool blurt at Gmail, one cool blurt on Twitter, one cool blurt on Instagram. And uh, we're going to go from there. So let's start with our first question of the day. Uh, the first question is, should I pursue a master's degree with a project or with a thesis? Um, and I guess I should say project slash coursework, right? So I'm going to start answering that question first off by sharing my own experience. Uh, when I was doing my master's, I wasn't 100% sure if I was going to stay on to do the PhD. And I felt as though I could get a job doing coursework only. Also, I had heard a lot of horror stories about people getting trapped doing the thesis. Um, and what would happen is an advisor might say, hey, you do really great work, and no matter what thesis you present, I'm gonna try to stretch it out a little, stretch it out a little, so your coursework's done, your thesis should be set, but you have to wait on your advisor's approval and they don't wanna let you go. So now instead of graduating in May, you're there another year, and it just kind of got really, really messy, and I didn't like that when, if I just took two more classes, I definitely got out. Um, and my thought process was, I don't, I'm not aiming to go to um, an MIT or anything like that for my PhD after this, and anybody should be satisfied with my master's and probably some work experience, and if I needed to, oh, I'm young, or I was young and foolish or something like that, then I would just kind of fall on my own sword to make it happen. Uh, so that was my experience. So I went the coursework only option. Uh, some people, they don't, can't do coursework only. They have some kind of capstone project, and so in that case, I would have done that. Um, but the important thing is to understand why people push for the, the thesis at the master stage anyway. Um, one of the reasons would be that if you are looking to go to a more competitive school, especially if you're coming from um, a smaller, lesser known school and you're trying to kind of get into the Ivy League or closer to the Ivy League in standing, um, a thesis at your master's level could actually help you to get into um, that program because you're showing, hey, I can do work. I can produce, I can add to the scientific community, I already have these publications, and it becomes just an amazing, like a wonderful thing. Uh, now, for, for those kinds of situations, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you've set up, um, uh, and my light's going out, great. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you've set up <clears throat> your, uh, ooh. you're going to want to make sure that you set up your, your research and schooling schedules and things of that nature uh, so that you are in the most winning position possible. Um, so once you you understand like how to set up your coursework so that it aligns with what you're doing, how to make sure you're setting up your research that it aligns with what you're doing, then a thesis can make sense. Um, if you know that it doesn't matter too much, then I would say do the less work, do the short thing, get out as whenever you can. And if you're going to go back later, there are a lot of people who do their masters. They go into the work field for years, never did a project, uh, never did the thesis because they didn't even expect to go back to do the PhD, and they still get in uh, because they score well on their GRE, because they show a track record, and because uh, the university's willing to, or the department's willing to take a chance. So I would say don't be a slave to the if I do want to get a PhD, I have to do a thesis option. I would say weigh out what kind of school you're going to and find out from students there or find out uh, from faculty there what's important at that institution and before making your decision because you could possibly save yourself a lot of headache by avoiding the thesis route um, and just taking the courses and, and knocking it out. Anyway, that was our One Cool Blurred, or Ask One Cool Blurred seg segment for today. I can't speak, man, it's crazy. Um, so let me know what you think. If you want different questions, 
Um, if you have any additional questions, uh, shoot them to me. I'm more than happy to add to the, the list we've got going. We're kind of going to try to do this a couple times a week and, and just see what happens. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend.